we got the La Femme Film Festival, a, a wonderful event uh, that showcases the talent of female producers, writers, directors. And today I'm joined with uh, the director as well as the actress, uh, as well as another individual um, in this narrative called Dirty Nails. Uh, I have to say, when I saw the, t the title, I thought, okay, uh, that's been quite a tease. Uh, but it's actually very interesting because it has some symbolism. So talk to me about this dramatic piece um, that is, has gotten some very good feedback. Yes, um, I'm Christina Adler and this is Lindsay Moser who plays our lead actress. It's essentially about the role reversal of a mother and daughter. What happens when mothers get older and you're taking care of someone who's usually taking care of you. And in our situation, she's been sick for a very long time and it's really caused a strain on you as a daughter. So she becomes obsessed with this kind of clean nails, clean soul concept. And she won't listen to anyone who has dirty nails. She thinks that they are not to be trusted, so this includes medical personnel and really anyone who has anything to do with her mother. And her sister yes. as well. It includes everyone. So it's really just a great story um, about you know what happens when those roles get reversed and, and real things that happen in real life and um, it, it's just a very relatable film that um, is it has wonderful wonderfully happy parts and wonderfully sad parts and um, just just a wonderful film that that allows us to do both in that so and it's a real relationship between sisters when one stays and another one goes and that's that guilt and that's who loves the mother more and why are you abandoning it so it's it's a very real relationship it's very real women in this movie we have many talented women and it's all about these dynamic characters that go through a lot a lot of love and a lot of pain <laughs> you, you said it perfectly before relatable is that what you had in mind when you decided to be part of this particular project? You wanted something that audiences would be able to, to, to take part in that message? Absolutely. I mean, you know, I, I'm as an actor, I, I don't have a job without an audience. And I want my audience to be able to feel what I feel and see what I see and, and have their own experience as well. Um, so I, I, when I read the script and I saw it, I absolutely wanted to, um, you know, just bring it to life in a way that um, everyone can relate to it, whether you have a sick family member or not, because the, the things, the, the problems and the issues that come along are things that we have in our lives um, on an everyday basis, you know, so I definitely wanted that and luckily I was blessed to have a wonderful director a wonderful writer um, and and just a wonderful crew the everybody on the film was just amazing to be able to bring this story to life and 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 to have something that the audience can relate to so yeah I bet you loved hearing that wonderful director <laughs> wonderful she, I mean she's an absolute blessing to work with she's the sweetest most giving actress in person and it was great it was a great experience well I know this is really been this has been a labor of love because producing these types of uh, pieces that we're here, that we're seeing here at the festival, are rather difficult. It takes years, and it takes a lot of individuals. Talk to us in terms of, of funding and putting this project together. What what was that process like? Labor of love, absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm a co-owner of a small production company called Jump Cut Collective, and this was our baby. Uh, we actually all took an acting class together and met this way, and we really. Through the class we learned about each other and we felt like we had some great qualities that we weren't being showcased locally and so we wanted to write our own story. And our Tontavia Bullard, our writer, she's a very talented actor, she also appears in the film. She wrote this one specifically for Lindsay and mine with her qualities and we all really worked together. There was a lot of people volunteering and a lot of locations for free that really just supported us, were behind the script and we got very lucky. So. And we had lots of people donate food and, um, and places and clothing and everything. So it was really just, just a blessing in, in itself. 
Well, I have to say, you took the best approach. When you don't find something that works for you, you create something. And that's exactly what you ladies and your colleagues did. So congratulations. Where can folks um, see this particular film? Obviously here at the Regal Theater in Los Angeles. When can they view it here at the theater? It's tomorrow at 2 p.m., so we're really looking forward to it. And don't miss it. Yes, <laughs> and otherwise, for upcoming, we're on jumpcutcollective.com with backslash Dirty Nails for all the updates. Well, be sure to tune in and watch Dirty Nails. Uh, it'll be here at the Regal Theater. Otherwise, uh, make sure to follow these two ladies. Uh, I know you have a lot of projects in the future that our audiences will be uh, excited to hear about as your careers progress. Thank you so much for joining us and continue to stay with us here at the Regal Theater uh, for the La Femme Film Festival, uh, a festival that you won't want to miss simply because it's showcasing so many dynamic women um, in the entertainment and film industry. Thank you so much. Continue to join us.